You're going to have to excuse the way I'm dressed. I still have my muck boots on. I just got done feeding the uh, animals. I have to literally stand way back here for you to even see me. Huh. I probably need a wider. But if I leave the camera at that level, you'll see me. You won't be able to see me working. I'm actually going to have to work on the floor. Let me go get a different lens and try it. All right, folks, show you what I got here. I actually bought this way back when I bought my camera, and I've never even opened it. I've never used it. It's the Valtrex EF EOS M2 adapter for the Canon M50 camera, which is what I use. So I've never even broke the seal on either side. Um, let me do that now. I have no idea if this is just like you take it out of the box and put the lens on it. And it just works like I honestly don't know. But it, I probably bought this like, I don't know, it was back in April or May when I bought the M50 camera and I've never used it. And I bought it specifically for a particular lens that I have. which I'm hoping is an EF lens and not an EFS lens because now I don't even honestly remember. I was just looking at it like, uh, that wasn't an EFS, was it? So here we have the adapter. Now it looks like the adapter box is all that there is, which is good. We have some instructions. So it looks like the adapter and the instructions are all that it is. Hopefully it doesn't take batteries or anything like that. EFS M2 0.71X autofocus mount adapter. Mounting and detaching, attach the lens, mount the adapter to the camera. Turn the camera off. Focal length is multiplied by 0.71. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. Lens mount index, USB upgrade, lens release, lever, optical glass, contact lens side, lens mount, camera side tripod socket well looks like all I have to do is mount the lens to the adapter that's how it come in the box still in its original wrapper oh it's got covers too which is great piece of silicone packet this is the side that goes to the camera this is the side that goes to the lens. I think I got that right. Actually, I didn't. So this is the side. The thicker side goes to the camera. This one goes to the lens. This is the lens I'm going to use. It's a Sigma 816 F1.4. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an f4.5 but it is 8 to 16 which is super wide field of view i just really hope and pray that this fits because i really don't know i heard a click all right so now I've got the adapter mounted to the lens. Now I got to shut the camera off and install the new lens on this camera. So this is actually the Sigma 816. I never moved the uh, tripod, but you can see now that that really makes this look way better. So I am tickled to death. This is going to work this well. 
because I've always wanted, um, I bought the M50 with just the kit lens. It's a 15 to 45 millimeter. And I was always like, I need something wider because a lot of times I just felt that it wasn't wide enough. And this looks like it's going to do a really good job, actually. Uh, so if we zoom back in, let me try to remember where. Yeah, so this is probably... No, this is actually even a wider field of view than what the kit lens was. So what I did was I went to 16, but I keep forgetting there's that multiplier. So it would actually be, it's not 16. Where's my cell phone? It would be 16 times 0.71. Oh, 16 times 0.71. So that would be 11 millimeter and then 8. Man, that 8 is super wide. Then 8 times, whoops, 8 times 0.71. So that's like 5.6 millimeter to like, uh, what did I say the other one was? to 11.36 with this lens that is really really wide I'm tickled to death of this um, man that's probably gonna be super awesome for like sunsets and stuff too so I used to do photography that's kind of why I'm on this tangent anyways so that is I better go ahead and plug this a little bit better since this is working so well that is the Viltrox EF EOS M2 autofocus mount adapter for the Canon M series cameras with a Sigma uh, EF 8x16 millimeter lens.